This is the only manifestation technique that you need in order to manifest what you want. Have you seen so many videos on, you know, use this technique and you gotta do this with your goals and you gotta do this to rewire your mind. Here is the one thing that you need to know in order to attract anything that you want. Yes, it truly is that simple. This is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com and let's dive right into this video. So, I tried it all. Every technique, everything, everything from working 10, 12, 14 hours a day and just getting totally burnt out to trying every meditation, visualization, every technique. I've tried everything. Hack this, do this. Here's the one thing that can change your entire life and allow you to attract not only what you truly desire, but get what you truly deserve in your life. And before I share it with you, think about what it might be. Just think for a second, what might I be talking about? Maybe some thoughts are sparking in your head right now. What might I be talking about? It's not what you think. See, there's all types of people that are working on creating things that they want in life, either from finding a soulmate to getting money, attracting a certain type of job, achieving a certain type of thing, whether it be material or in your health or your spirituality. And, it, and we're constantly seeking things outside of ourselves in order to gain those answers to the questions that we're asking and to help us accomplish the goals that we've set for ourselves. Well, I need these resources. I need this money and I need this thing and uh, I need this thing and it's constantly based off of exterior things that we think that we need in order to attract, create, and get the things that we want in life. And it wasn't until I started looking within myself that I realized I just needed to trust myself. If you're an individualization of God, which you are, comment down below, I am one with God. Comment that down below right now. Comment that down below, I am one with God. If you're an individualization of God, if you're an extension of God energy, which you are, then the thing that Jesus said when he said the kingdom of heaven is within is essentially saying that all the answers that you'll ever need are within yourself. You might be like, but I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know how it's going to work. And I don't have this thing. And I'm not qualified enough. And I, I might be too old. And I might be too young. And, you know, I might not look the part. And I might have too many rolls in my stomach. My butt might be just not quite nice enough. I don't have enough digits in my bank account. I don't have the right car to attract that girl. I don't have enough muscle on my body. Well, my teeth are crooked. Well, my skin isn't clean enough. Well, my skin needs to be darker. My skin needs to be lighter. Everything is exterior. You gotta trust yourself. Comment down below, I trust the genius within myself. Comment that down below, I trust the genius within myself. What if I were to tell you that the billion dollars, the million dollars, the hundred thousand dollars, the ten thousand dollars, Whatever money that you want is actually within yourself. What if I were to tell you that every question you're asking God or the universe, you have not only the answer, but the solution to it? What if I were to tell you that you're actually qualified enough right now? What if I were to tell you you're ready right now? What if I were to tell you that you're actually good enough? And I were to say, hey, the answer is you need to look in the mirror and you need to look yourself in the eyes and you need to say, I'm good enough. I'm worthy. I deserve it. I'm good enough. I'm worthy. I deserve it. Repeat that with me. I'm good enough. I'm worthy. I deserve it. Our whole culture is built off of pulling down our self-esteem. Companies pull down your self-esteem because when you have that uh, mental or emotional wound, then they can then fill it manipulatively with a product that they're trying to sell. That's how consumeristic society works. Then 
people close to us, when we say, ah, I want this for my life, I want this for my life, people tell us that we're too selfish. Everything is built around you thinking that everything outside of yourself is more important than you. We think that, a re that religions are more important than our own selves. We think that money is more important than our own selves. We think that everybody and everything knows better than us. And so we spend our lives in validation or enslaved to exterior ideologies. And all of these things are great. Um, money's great. Religions are great. Cars are great. Jobs are great. Having other people's approval, it's great. Having friends, it's great. Having degrees, it's great. Being, trying to be, trying to constantly improve yourself, it's great. But you're good enough right now. Here's what I'm inviting you to do. Go look in the mirror and say this to yourself. I am good enough. I am worthy. I deserve it. How would your life change? If that's the way you started looking at yourself, I'm good enough. See, deep down, your biggest problem is that you don't think you're good enough. You don't think you're worthy enough and you don't think you're deserving enough. Maybe because not enough people or nobody told you that. Maybe because you think that your past has a bearing on your future and some things have went the way that maybe not be best. Maybe you did poor in school. You got fired from a job. You got cheated on. You haven't been able to attract a relationship. You've done poor in your finances. You're in debt. And you think that the past determines whether you're good enough, worthy enough, or deserving. None of that matters. You're an individualization of God. You're not even your body anyways. Your body is just a vehicle that you're using. When I say I'm Jake Ducey, it's not really who I am. And so what happens is you start to believe you're not good enough, you're not worthy, you're not deserving. See, you start to actually believe that on some level. Like on some level, I believed I wasn't worthy enough of having an international business that was inspiring millions of people and that I didn't think I was good enough, that I could have 400,000 YouTube subscribers and be getting millions of views every single month and that I had something to say that would inspire people because I looked out on the computer and I looked out on Instagram and I saw the people that were better. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, this guy, oh yeah, this guy. So I quit following every single person on my Instagram because I didn't want to look at them and compare myself to them and find out why they were better. People that have been around in the industry forever, all these things were focused exterior, so then I compare myself to them and say I wasn't good enough or worthy enough or deserving. And I had to finally take a deep breath one day and look within myself and say, I am good enough. I'm worthy, I'm deserving of everything that I want. And some people mistake that as you being selfish. Fine, that's okay. Say it with me, I'm good enough, I'm worthy, I'm deserving. Comment it down below. I am good enough. I'm deserving. I am worthy. Comment that down below. I am good enough. I am worthy. I deserve it. Comment that down below. And really feel the essence of what I'm saying. Because when you start to see yourself as good enough, then you'll go after what you want. You'll just start. Bob Marley used to say, you're never going to get nowhere if you don't start somewhere. You're never going to get anywhere unless you start now. And we're never going to start if we keep thinking we're not good enough to start. Because if we're not good enough to start, then we're not good enough to get what we want. Therefore, we're bound to fail if we ask that person out, start our business, do our hit our goal, go after the thing. Because if you don't think you're good enough, then there's no reason to start because you're going to fail. And then your brain wants to protect you from failure. So then you sit there and then you constantly say, well, I need this resource and I need this thing and I need this thing and I need to have this plan and I don't know how it's going to work. And we sit and we 
mentally analyze things and we never take action. We never ask that person out that we find attractive. We never ask that person out that we find attractive or we say, I'm a girl, I shouldn't ask men out. Or we say, I'm not good enough to make more money. I've been in debt for 10 years. I don't have the right education. I don't have the right resources. I don't know how. I'm not sure if I'm good enough. I don't have the skill set. I don't have enough time. I'm too old. I'm too young. I'll do it next year. I'll do it when the kids graduate from school. I'll do it then. I'll do it after next week. No. These are all clever masks blocking us from the truth that the kingdom of heaven is within you. You're good enough. I'm telling you. You'll find out you're smarter than you think. I'm telling you. You'll find out that you're a divine being. You just have to keep affirming these things. I am good enough. I am worthy. I am deserving. So here's what I invite you to do. So this is Jake telling you that please go over to your mirror when this video ends. Please go over to your mirror when this video ends. Do this for me. Please go in your mirror and say, I'm good enough. I'm worthy. I deserve it. I'm good enough. I'm worthy. I deserve it. I am good enough. I am worthy. I'm deserving. Who cares if your mom hears you, your dad hears you, your roommate hears you. They should hear you. Say, look, I, I'm changing as a person. I realize I haven't, I haven't embraced the fact that I'm good enough for my desires, that I'm worthy, and that I deserve it, and my life's going to change forever because now I grasp that. You're a divine being. And that's exciting. Thank you for watching this video. This is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com. If you haven't yet, make sure that you download my free success hypnosis right there down below, jakeshypnosis.com. We have 65,000 thoughts in a day according to psychologists. 95% of them are habitual and they're subconscious, they're below conscious, they're habitual, they're programmed into us by the outside world. And psychologists say 70% of those are negative and redundant. They're blocking you. They're blocking me from getting what we want in life. And when we rewire them, when we rewrite those belief systems, our life changes. It's free and I created a hypnosis that will rewire those for you. And it'll help you attract success and prosperity and abundance a lot easier in your life. It's jakeshypnosis.com right there down below. Jakeshypnosis.com right there down below. Jakeshypnosis.com. If you haven't yet, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And then hit that bell notification right over there because the bell notification is what notifies you for new videos. So right over there, tap on that bell notification. Have a fantastic day. Like this video if you dig it. If this speaks to you, watch this again back through. The more you watch the video, videos through a second or a third time, the more you grasp them and you retain that information in your subconscious. So if it speaks to you, please watch it again back through. Have a fantastic day. I love you. I appreciate you. You're in my intentions and prayers, especially when you comment down below so I can read your name through and send you off positive vibes. So have a beautiful, beautiful day. Remember this. You're good enough. You're worthy and you deserve it. Comment that down below. I'm good enough. I am worthy. I deserve it. If you have not subscribed yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button right over there and hit the bell notification because that's what's going to notify you for new videos. Subscribe, bell notification. Let's get right to the video.